Yeah, the biggest thing what she said was <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. Uh, focus, 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 focus. Okay, so yeah, today is a Sunday. I'm starting this vlog late. Um, what time is it? It is currently 5.06. I've literally just been chilling all day, doing nothing. I just straightened my hair. And then, yeah, because I need to look a little bit reasonable i need to take an instagram picture tomorrow but i get my hair done but that's a whole separate vlog so anyway so yeah jasmine is in town we're gonna do something probably go out to dinner have a little drink 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 and of course y'all gonna come with me duh hello like why would y'all why would i leave y'all at home why would i do that that would be a fake ass bitch me but anyways i gotta show y'all my new mirror i'm so happy with it it's so cute and you can put it like this way too it's so cute. I got it from Bonmar. Bonmar is basically like a Boston store, but it is by Impressions Vanity, and it's super cute. I'm in love with it. Princess Reese, um, she uploaded her makeup mirror, and she inspired me to get a new one. I wanted the same one she had, but she said she couldn't find a link. But I don't know if y'all y'all know Princess Reese or not. She's like a good ass makeup artist in New York, and I met her at BeautyCon. I love her now. She's so cute. But anyway, so if you're new here to my channel. Don't don't forget to click subscribe and my name's Kyra hello how you doing and don't forget to leave a comment below and make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting that fire and you need to show love to me because I lo always show love back okay we always show love over here it's about to do like a little bit of a like beat right now I just want to look kind of cute I don't because I don't even know where we're going for real but we might go to like a bar maybe but it's been raining all day y'all like all oh, day is so fucking ugly outside i think because the hurricanes that are happening in other states and stuff like that are like bypassing through and just i don't know it's just terrible weather you know but yeah i'm just gonna do something real light real quick i love my lashes and yeah i just need to do like a little beat oh my god i got a fucking pimple right here i'm ready to end my fucking period because my skin has been going through it like it's starting to go away now but bitch like leave me alone like go somewhere so let me just see what i can put together real quick like a little natural cute beat also y'all kylie just came out with her um kylie skin is going to be at ulta so i need to go there and stop because i ran out of moisturizer and i love her moisturizer and her eye cream i'm like vouching for that like i need to go get re-up because i got it when it first came out i ordered it but now i need to go get it so hopefully i can make it fingers crossed and if you put it good morning y'all i can't leave him alone good morning y'all it's the next day from yesterday to turn up it's kind of hot in here okay today is the next day today's monday jasmine leaves today i had got up y'all and went to work like i'm like you know what let me just show that i got some good work ethic like let me just be able to party all night and get my money in the morning you know you know what i'm saying because that's what i'm gonna probably do in atlanta i'm gonna you know get my coin in the morning and be like i'm out we out tonight so anyways um yeah so i got up and went to work you know 4 a.m got in at like 12 though oh my this shirt is not doing me justice right now i can always get my hair done but anyways so y'all i'm at the bank right now okay y'all anyway we're going to sweet diner i'm at the bank i'm gonna deposit some money make sure that y'all are 
depositing more than you're taking out and spending i know it's hard or whatever but stack your money is very important to save your money i'm not i used to not be a good saver i swear to god like i used to be like just spending shit not even giving a fuck but now that i'm older like saving your money will just be that's your little cushion so make sure you always have a cushion yeah you always want to have money in your bank account you don't want to have to depend on nobody you don't want to have to worry so make sure you're always depositing money more than you spend it okay lesson for the fucking day make money mondays Okay, period. Thanks. Nah, today not my birthday. <laughs> I'm confused. What you say? A receipt. Okay. A receipt for what? I don't know. <laughs> Y'all, look what Jasmine got me. She's so sweet. <sighs> it's her <Little> birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, are we crazy. all in? We're in. We're in, we're, in we're off. We finna go to brunch. I'm so excited. I didn't know that. What you say? This is my birthday birthday. It's my birthday birthday. Hi, good. Good. Hey, I know. Black people so fucking late. My fucking neck look like it's being suffocated. Like this? Yeah. So y'all, we just got to Sweet Diner and we waiting for everybody else. Like, you like the vibe in here? You've been here before. I never been here. For real? Oh yeah, y'all. Let me open my gift from Jasmine. Well, I'll open it after we eat. I'm open it. Yesterday you told me your birthday was a so She's late. She's a late bloomer. I mean, I got um, grape and orange mix. What you get? The 
going to drink the wine. It's a mimosa. Get one. Yeah. Okay, what you want here? So y'all, me and Andre are making errand. Oh, it's coming soon. It's not open yet. Oh. So we about to go into Ulta. My hair is looking a mess. And Kylie just came out with her thing. I think I said it earlier in this vlog. And I want to see if they got the products that I want. So let's see what it do. They got it. Oh, I'm so fucking excited. This is what we're here for. Where the fuck is the product? Oh, it's on the sign, okay. So y'all already know I get the moisturizer. And I think I wanna try the toner. I'm gonna try it, the vanilla milk toner. Andre wants to get Kylie Cosmetics. Ugh, I can't wait to get my hair done, y'all. I look a fucking mess. Let me smell. Oh, oh, yeah, that's fire. What is that, white hell? Um, I'm on each one. Yeah, that's not good. good as fuck. Give me this next time, the big bottle. Mmm, this one? Somebody asked me about this. Y'all, my nose hurt. Have you tried this um, deodorant before? No, but I'm purchasing it today, actually. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Is it only so, one kind? So switching from, uh, like... Yeah, I needed some more setting spray. And she was like, you're not going to get this strawberry? So let's see. Oh, it does smell like strawberries. Okay, I'm going to get this. <laughs> so y'all, like... The tea. Oh, bitch, I look a mess. I can't even take myself serious right now. <laughs> but, okay, so I was in the store, right? Ew. Hold on, let me put my seatbelt on. Ma'am, put your seatbelt on, ma'am. Put your seatbelt on right in the fucking car. But, y'all, okay, so y'all know how I've been telling y'all I've been sweating a lot. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why am I so fucking musty? But, the lady, okay, so I got picked up a new deodorant. Y'all seen it probably in the mouth. Is it like Huh? Did you get like a clinical strength deodorant or something? No, it's natural. Oh. Uh, so I used Native from Target and then I was in there and there was another natural deodorant it's called Capri or something. Mm. So she was like, um, do you need help with anything? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh no. And then I was like, is this natural deodorant good? And I was like, she's like, oh my God, yeah. Like, I'm going to try it today. I love that natural deodorant. And I was like, oh really? And I was like, I don't know. I've been trying to figure out like a whole new deodorant because like I've been musty. I don't know. And I was like, I've been using Native from Target. And she was like, oh my God, that's just detoxing. Like, she was like, it's natural. Like, she said, the first week you use it, you're gonna just um, detox. You're gonna sweat more and stuff like that because your body is detoxifying itself. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, no wonder I've been so musty, girl. <laughs> and she was like, yeah. And then she was like, by the third week, you should be fine. And I was like, oh wow, that's crazy. She was like, because your lymph nodes are like, by there or something I don't know and I was like what the fuck I was like thank you sis thank you for the info so y'all if y'all out there trying natural deodorant stick to it because it might it's benefiting you honestly so but I needed that tea on that cuz um or you could always just you know keep you some dub on dick and don't use dub Bitch, you the. We're natural over here. We're natural. I, really, I don't wear deodorant every day, though. You don't? No, nah, I only wear it when I need it. That's, That's what I was saying. Because I was telling my mom, I'm like, That's mom, I shouldn't so be like, this musty. So has your deodorant been, like, wearing out on you? Like, you put it on and it just seemed like it just don't work? Yeah. So that, that happened to me, like, four years ago. And after that, I just stopped wearing it. So Because like, I keep putting it on, like, making sure trying to um, mm -hmm. it's layer like, it up. It's like but that's built, it's bad. Too, it's too built up. Like, that's how I was. Like, I would always put on deodorant after I got out the shower. And um, it just stopped working for me. So... I st I just completely stopped using it. Like I just like I did like the um where you use like the apple cider vinegar under your arms and like the alcohol, yeah. and I just stopped using it. And I did that for a while, and I guess it like I don't know what the fuck it did, but I don't really wear deodorant that much. 
That's crazy. I just keep it with me just in case. And I've been exfoliating my armpits, so it's mm -hmm. kind of been helping me. So I was thank the same you, way. So yeah, y'all, that's okay y'all so it's been a little bit later and i just want to show y'all what i got from the mall when we went in ulta so you already know i got the kylie toner and then the moisturizer i'm about to try these out right now and then i got this new morphe palette let me open it this beautiful palette it had these neutral colors on it so i just wanted to try that on my eye i'm going for like the kim k neutral eye and then this blue color i might try it i don't know trying to sit by my comfort zone but yeah i can't wait to try this palette out then i went to bath and body works and got some room scents i got the pumpkin cupcake and the lavender vanilla cell fire and then as you guys know i do use natural deodorant now so i got the capri one hope this is fire because native is good so we'll see and then i got the morphe by the free star setting spray this literally smells like strawberries crazy as fuck and then here's the lip combo jasmine got me i can't wait to try this out once my makeup is beat and also the favorite thing the most favorite thing that i picked up today was this cute ass pajama set y'all like it's fire the pajama pants were only twenty dollars so yeah i just got ready to go to sleep i'm about to go to bed right now because i gotta go i'm back in the gym tomorrow y'all i'm back hard like i'm done eating bad like i don't know what the fuck came over me i don't know but we gotta get back together like because this is not what's up okay so yeah so i'm just about to go to bed so i'll probably just see y'all tomorrow so so it's the next day from yesterday so today is what is it tuesday tuesday so me and andre are about to go get our cards read it's not demonic the lady is christian it's nothing to do with that because if it wasn't i would not do this kind of nervous i'm just nervous to see like what she says like and i'm an emotional person i really don't want to get emotional but i hope i don't i'm a I'm probably if I do oh well and I'm gonna just let y'all know what happens I'm pretty sure you can't film in there so I'm gonna let y'all know what she says and I'm not gonna share too much if it's like real personal but I'm gonna just see like the outcome of this so I'm just waiting for Andre to come outside I'm so nervous I got so my anxiety is like going through the roof right now so let's see if we even make it it's 1240 we can't be um late um our appointments are one and two so yeah i guess i'm gonna see y'all when i get out and see what she says <sighs> y'all this is crazy i can't believe i'm doing this it's crazy all my friends did it keisha did it larissa destiny they all did it andre has done it before but he's i guess he did it like five years ago or something like that i just never did it before but when i was in atlanta when it was a vlog when i had um the vision board party the um girl jasmine's friend um the lady that hosted it she her husband is actual card reader but he told me some information some good info like about youtube and stuff he's just like sick to it that's gonna be your main income so i'm gonna see what this lady says just because i need like a refresher a little push sometimes because i do a little get a little discouraged like there's not a lot of people i can talk about like youtube and staying on track because like for, for one there's nobody here around and two like my other youtube friends live in different states and i don't know i just don't want to like feel like i'm using them you know i want to be self-made if that makes sense like i don't want to ask nobody for nothing i want to do my own research i want to just you know grind it out on my own if that makes sense but yeah so i'm just gonna see what she says and yeah we'll see if his ass hurry up hey y'all so it's currently 5 15 in the morning so i thought i had to be to work today but Turns out I was off. I don't know how to start this. So I went to the psychic and I'm just gonna tell y'all what she said in order. It was very overwhelming for me. 
and a new experience from all the info she told me. So basically, for starters, when I first walked in there, the first thing, I mean, she feeds off your energy. So one of the first things she said was, a lot of people don't know you and don't like you. Wow. Like, she's like, wow. And I was like, that. I already knew that, though, because ever since I was, like, 18, like, a lot of people didn't like me. Like, I was the effortless girl that could just put on makeup and get dressed. And I don't know. I got a lot of hate for it. And I never, like, you know, it never really affected me until, like, I got older. And it's like people are just like have hidden agendas aren't genuine and i know when you get older you just be like who's really real who's fake like who can i like invite to my wedding shit like that like who's my real people or whatever in my corner but anyway so it really didn't affect me but it wasn't already something i didn't know then she said that um, she said something about Charleston, like my mom. Um, and I asked my mom, I was like, what the fuck is in Charleston? She's like, I just keep seeing Charleston, which related to your mom. And I asked her, she was like, oh, um, I watched The Real Housewives of Charleston or some shit like that. Something like that. And, um, about being in a house or something in Charleston. I don't know, she, she's, Charleston must be on her mind a lot from watching the show, clearly. That's about my love life. She's like, I see a lot of pain in your heart and stuff like that, which um is something I don't know. I mean, something I already knew already. Um, And y'all know I don't have no relationship. And she's like, why? And I explained to her why. And then she was like, you need to, stop thinking with your head and start thinking with your heart and um your the husband you're supposed to be with is gonna have a lot of blessings like she sees the person i'm with that is going to give me that balance that i need but i am that wish you was i mean that iffy person like when it comes to like dudes and stuff she said when he comes you need to stop being like oh i want it but you know what no like i don't want it and i am like that with these dudes i'll be like oh i want love and then i'm like no not right now not right not right now which is true but she did say he gonna have a lot of blessings so thank you jesus thank you she's like you want to help people blah 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 like you're gonna transition into something big and it's going to expand but you need to open up your heart and stop being so hidden she said i was sensitive too because she could feel off that energy because like i said y'all i was nervous like i was like emotional for no reason if you're a pisces you're emotional and i was just like i don't know it was just so weird <laughs> And she, I could tell, I mean, I was like getting teary eyed for no reason. And just out of one eye though. And I'm like, she could probably fucking tell this energy cause she keeps saying I'm sensitive. Said that, um, she said some other personal things I'm not gonna say, but, and then she said, um, you know, something that I don't already know already, but I'm not gonna say cause I don't want people thinking like, I'm gonna look at them different, but I probably am. <laughs> but um, not in a bad way. I'm just gonna move different, you know? Be, I'm just gonna be more cautious on who I let in my space. And, and I don't have time for anybody interrupting my peace. She said, I need to cleanse, I need protection. That's why I had ended up buying this bracelet. I forgot what it's called, but it's like, for healing and protection she also said that i need to cleanse when i start doing videos so yeah but then she said something about california she said um well first she said that she was like did you used to play jazz or something which i used to play clarinet 
when I was in middle school, but I stopped and I used to play piano. And she was like, are you gonna do something with music? Like, I see this. She's like, I see it. She's like, there's a connection with your ancestors. And I'm like, what's like music? I never thought about doing anything with music at all. Like, like I burst out singing just because, but it don't be for real. <laughs> like, I don't be for real. Like, I be playing. And I never thought of myself as like a musician or like something with music or anything like that. And then she was like, I see that. And then she said, I see California. She was like, I see you going there, but coming back, like not living there. And then um, she was like, I see you traveling soon. Um, are you going anywhere? And I was like, I want to move to Atlanta. I was like, do you see anything about Atlanta? She was like, I don't see Atlanta, but I do see travel. And I'm like, okay. If she doesn't see it, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So, with that being said, just because she said she didn't see Atlanta don't mean I'm not going. Because, bitch, I'm going. And, um, I also asked her. Oh, she also told me I'm going to have two kids. <laughs> She's like, do you plan on having kids? Because I see two kids. I'm like, two? Bitch, what? So, then, um... And then she, I asked her about, like, is the boy I'm supposed to be with here? She's like, no, he's not here. And then um, she also said that when he comes, just be open to new things. She also said that opportunities are going to be calling, calling, calling. And I can't turn them down. I need to be open with it. And she also said that I have a new project coming up, which is something that I there's two things that I've been wanting to do. She said I need to write them down. Because she's like, do you want to help people? Blah, blah, blah. Which is something. One of the things I've been thinking about. I'm not going to say anything yet. But I'm just going to write it down. See what happens. And I'm going to also announce it in another video. To see y'all thoughts on it. And then go from there. But it's been on my mind. Like a lot. And um yeah she just told me i need to cleanse i need to protect myself the biggest thing what she said was like about people around me and stuff like that like you know um which is something i already knew trying to raise to the top you know it does come with a lot of hate and shit like that which is something i already knew but i'm just going to move different when it comes to allowing people in my space is just something to think about because i should have asked her um like um when am i gonna meet like like a good genuine friend that is the same energy as me because when me i'm like i put myself second when it comes to people i'm pretty sure people think i put myself first and only care about me but that's not the truth um, I always think about other people's feelings and stuff like that. And if anybody around me asks me something, I'm like, okay, I'll do it, whatever, no hesitation. I'm gonna meet like a good genuine friend with the same energy as me, like, damn, that could really be my best friend or something like that, you know? Um But yeah. I don't know. Because with me being like um you know a youtuber or whatever it is hard to find people who are genuine people aren't gonna say to my face like oh i don't like you blah 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 and a lot of people are going to be in my face and like you know talk shit behind my back whatever which is expected i really don't give a fuck um but They'll never out openly say it or act like they don't like you in front of you because they don't want to be in competition with you, which is like, okay, like I don't, me personally, I don't see any competition at all. Like all I see is me and I'm only worried about me and my lane and, but with these other bitches, like they'll be in competition with you in their head. They won't, they won't act like it, but they'll definitely will be in i don't know um and i really feel like it's important for me to have like somebody that i can really trust for real 
know they won't say shit if I tell them something. Know that, um, <clears throat> like I have friends or whatever, but I feel like I haven't found my person yet. Like, that's my bitch. Like, that's my fucking bitch for life. Like, that's my fucking maid of honor type of things. Like, the same energy as me. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this, but yeah, I don't know. But, Cause the only person that knows every single thing about me and um, that I talk to all the time is my mama. That's why nobody will ever come before her. So, and then she also said that I need to stop talking to people. I mean, I need to stop telling people my ideas and stuff like that, which is true. I'm not gonna say shit. I'm just gonna write down my ideas and express them to my mama. And that's it. That's basically what she said. It was just a overwhelming experience. Um, it wasn't nothing bad, negative, demonic, nothing. Um, it was all positive energy stuff I needed to hear on how I need to like transition my YouTube channel, my career success. She said that I'm gonna love doing this. She said I'm not gonna feel like this is something I have to do. She said I'm gonna enjoy it, which I, I do enjoy making videos, taking pictures, cause this is what I love doing. I love getting glam. I love uplifting y'all self-esteem. I love that I push myself to love myself so y'all are able to do the same my fucking memory is gonna die but but yeah i just need to start um writing down my ideas starting to plan out my channel on what i want to do different with it and just make everything up better because i want y'all to be i mean i'm always trying to be relatable but i really want y'all to take a lot of information from my channel and i want y'all to be able to enjoy yourselves I mean, be happy while watching my channel and just, I don't know, just positive vibes all the time. So, yeah, but anyways, I'm about to, it's 5.33. I gotta be at the gym in two hours. I might take a little nap because I gotta edit all day today. So, um, yeah, so that's basically all what the lady said. I know I'm kind of whispering in this fucking part of the video. But I don't like, I don't know why I'm not going to have a loud ass voice at like five in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, um, and I'm just, she told me that I need to start being more open with y'all. So, um, I plan on doing that. Um, I know y'all want to know more about me. And, um, so with that being said, when my Q&A is up, please be sure that you are tuned in to answer any questions because I'm going to be as open as possible with y'all when it comes to that. Um, even though some of the things I know y'all are going to ask, I'm just going to fucking answer it anyways because, I mean, like, shit happens. Um, and life and, you know, we just get through it, shit. And we pray that God is just going to guide us in the right direction. And then the people that are, like, hating on you on the low, that are close to you maybe, or maybe associates, like, pray that God will remove them out your life. That's what I told my friend um, today. That's what she told me, which is true. And, yeah, like, you just never know. So... I'm going to end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. And I'm going to sip on my cappuccino that I got from the gas station. <laughs> and I'm going to just relax for two hours and then go to my workout. So I will see y'all in the next video. And I love y'all so much. Thank you for being here today. I'm so grateful for y'all genuine support. Like, honestly. Like, that's another reason why I made YouTube. Because it's hard for me to find genuine support where I live. A lot of people aren't rooting for me. They're praying on my downfall. But little do they know I'm the GOAT. And, um... 
and yeah like there's no downfall for me baby girl like mm -mm. so and there's no downfall for you either so anyway yeah enough of me ranting i can't wait to get my hair done oh my god so anyways i love y'all so much and i will see y'all in the next video mine